Next, we will have a special performance from five very special youth who will share their stories with us today in a segment called One Voice. Our logo is a representation of the growth and development that we hope to foster with our sector. The maple leaf with its changing colors and iconic shape is a national emblem and also a symbol of our growth and development as a nation. With that, I would like to present One Voice. These are the stories of five youth on various stages of their immigra immigration journey here in Canada. Please help me to welcome on the stage Bobak, Angela, Raymond, Myra, and Noor. Hi, my name is Bobak. I'm 13 years old. I just came to Canada a few months ago. I came from Iran, and I left my hometown of Tehran. As you might know, Iran has been in the middle of a civil conflict since the last presidential election. Tehran is not a safe place for young people right now. I saw a lot of violence on the streets and heartache in people's lives. I have always wanted to live in a safe and peaceful place. I remember one day when I went to school, they were burning an American flag. I was very upset when I saw this. I love Iran and all Iranian people, but it doesn't mean to go to school to learn about hatred. I want to go to school to learn about peace, love, freedom, and democracy. I want to learn to be a good person and to do kind things for others. We had to leave Iran because it was not safe for us. I'm very happy to be in Canada right now, and I hope that I can become a doctor one day. Finally, Happy New Year to all Iranian people. God bless them, and God bless Canada. My name is Baba, and my story is about peace and freedom. I'm from Nanjing, Jiangsu, China. I arrived in Canada in August 2009. I have been in Canada for only seven months. It was very difficult for me to decide to leave my hometown and to move to a new country. When I chose this, I had to give up everything in China. I was very sad to leave because I, to leave, I had to leave my dear friends and teachers. I cried my heart out at the airport, but tears were useless. I still had to leave. After arriving in Canada, the first days were really hard. I had to adjust to the new time zone and the climate. I had a hard time sleeping. It was very uncomfortable. I felt very lonely every single day because I did not know anybody here. I did not know who I can talk with. I joined the Red Cross leadership program here at the RYC. It was a great program and it taught us to be kind people with love in our hearts. Now I think whoever you are, if someone around you needs your help, you should try your best to help him or her regardless of who she or he is. We all need help no matter who we are. And if we all help each other, then we can make each other's lives much better. Being kind and wanting to help others helped me overcome my struggles. Now I have new friends here, and now I do think that everyone should be very confident and excited. We are sharing a new experience now, so please be happy every single day. My name is Angela, and my story is about love and compassion. Thank you. Hi, my name is Raymond. I'm from China, Hebei province. Uh, I came to Canada on August 10, 2009. When I left China, I felt very sad. I lost my friends who have been with me almost 10 years. I didn't get to finish my high school life with them, and it's a pity. When I first came to Canada, I felt very fed. 
I didn't know how I could live here. I didn't know where I could eat. I didn't know where my school was. My father and I came with only four bits of suitcases, and the truth is that it was terrible. <laughs> uh, and I didn't know how to speak English, the most important thing. I couldn't talk to others, and I couldn't understand others. That means things much harder. Uh, I want to go to university next year, but my English is a big problem. I uh, have to work twice as hard. That makes things much harder. Uh, I have joined the English link program here at IVC. The teacher there is very good. It's very patient. He can repeat again and again if you don't understand him. I have also joined the mentorship program here, and the mentor is helping me with me prepare for university next year. One month ago, my parents went back to China. No, I live here alone. I have to cook myself, to do everything myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big challenge. Uh, even though I'm already 18, but it's still very hard. Uh, I know I can overcome all these things, and, um, and I won't lose. My name is Raymond, and my story is about the perseverance. Thank you. from Colombia and I came two years ago by myself. My the decision to leave was the hardest thing I had ever had to do. I left my family, my friends, and my community. I came to Canada because I wanted to live somewhere I could grow and prosper. When I first came here, I didn't know anybody. I didn't speak English. It was very difficult at first and sometimes scary until I started to go to one of the churches in the town. I began to get involved in the community and, op and it opened the doors for me. My faith and my perseverance helped me to learn a new language and become involved in this new country. The language has been most challenging then. The language barrier made school very frustrating. I still get nervous sometimes when I have to speak in front of people. I hope don't make mistakes and say the wrong words. I still miss my family and friends very much. And even though I have gotten through the hardest part of this journey, there are still many challenges to face. And when this, the things get hard, I just remember my faith and keep on believing in what I'm doing and what I'm doing. I, so th I am so thankful to be in Canada and I want to become a business person and my name is Myra and my story is about hope. Hi, my name is Noor and I was born in Pakistan. I immigrated to Canada with my family when I was 10 years old. Come moving to Canada was a life-changing experience for me. I was very depressed at first, having to leave my country and the people I have grown up with. When I came to Canada, I didn't speak English, so it was a big, a big challenge for me when I started school. My teachers and friends helped me a lot in the first few years. I always had fear that my English would hold me back from experiencing different things and expressing myself. But soon I gained more confidence and the fears disappeared. I have really enjoyed experiencing different cultures and beliefs, which I find very interesting. It's been seven years now, and when I try to picture myself from where I started, I think about how amazing of a journey it has been. How much I have learned, how much I have grown and changed. Now I'm doing my high school co-op here at IYC. I plan to become a social worker or an immigration worker. Doing my co-op here has given me the opportunity to experience so much and share my experience with others. I, have, I hope that I can help others in their transition and support them with their, in their journey. My name is Noor and my story is about support and um, understanding. Now we would like all of our special guests to please come to the stage with the leaves that have been presented to them. As a symbol of our motto, Together We Grow, and our collective commitment to the growth and development of our community, our city, and our country, I ask you to place, to place the stems of those leaves in the holes on, on the trees. Please hold the leaf there for a picture.